I had a sheet that told me the um, order in which we were going to make this announcement, but um, I seem to have left it somewhere. So I'm going to I'm going to just sort of wing this. Uh, thank y'all very much for uh, for your time this morning. A big day for Michael Walter Racing and for um, Aaron's Sales and Lease Ownership. Aaron's has been my sponsor since 2000. Um, I flipped over in a car here in 2000 with Aaron's on it and. Um, we've won races with Aaron's in the Nationwide Series and, and obviously in the Cup Series. And um, we're uh, here today to announce that um, Mark Martin will drive the um, Aaron's Dream Machine in uh, 2012 and 13. And uh, we have an option with Aaron's for um, sponsorship with them in 14 as well. So um, it's a big day for our team. We're uh, extending our relationship with uh, one of the best sponsors in NASCAR. They use this sport as one of their main marketing tools, making TV commercials, obviously, uh, um, sponsoring races, hospitality. They do it all, and uh, we're just honored that, uh, that they're our partner. We've um, had an interesting season this year. Um, we've, had perform we've performed well, but we haven't finished all that well. And... Um, we elected at, at uh, we elected that um, it was it was not going the way we we, we hoped it would, and so um, talking to Mr. Butler, he uh, he wanted to know what we were going to do. He said, "With where you are in the points, give me some options. Tell me what we're going to do." And um, he picked a future Hall of Famer here to drive the Aaron's Dream Machine, and um, I couldn't be prouder or happier. So, um, Mark, welcome to the team. Looking forward to you not only driving our cars, but uh, um, elevating our whole program, coaching our, our drivers, and uh, bringing some of that experience and knowledge to our team. Thank you, Mark. And thank you, Michael. I really am excited about this opportunity that Aaron's and Michael Waltrip have, have given me here, uh, not only to drive a race car, but uh, the opportunity to, uh, to join in uh, a marketing uh, partner that uh, is second to none in motorsports. Uh, I really look forward and, and, uh, and am anxious to get started uh, with Aaron's. I know that we're going to have a whole lot of fun uh, with Michael and, and Aaron's, and uh, hopefully we can figure out a way to, uh, to have some make fun of myself. And uh, uh, I think that we've got some good ideas already. I look, fo uh, look forward to it. Uh, but even more than that, having an opportunity to come in and work with an organization uh, that uh, is willing to uh, give, me, give me an opportunity to have some um, effect or some say in the direction of the, uh, the competition program of the people uh, is really exciting. Uh, the performance level um, is, is not where they would like to be right now. Uh, but they're making a serious move uh, toward uh, stepping that, that up. And I'm really excited to, to have a chance to be a part of that. Um, and, uh, and everybody knows I like to help people. And, and so uh, getting a chance to work with, uh, uh, you know, some of the young drivers that come along and come through the program, as well as young uh, pit crew members, uh, it, you know, is is something that really means a lot to me. Um, I can't wait, can't wait to get started. It's an incredible opportunity. Uh, I really look forward to to working with everybody um, and all the partners at Michael Walker Racing um, and uh, and Toyota's commitment to uh, to NASCAR and to motorsports um, is going to be uh, exciting as well. I feel uh, feel very fortunate to to have this opportunity. And, uh, and I really look forward to it. Mr. Butler and I met um, in 99, I think, at a Shania Twain concert. And uh, he said, I like you on the racetrack. I think you should drive for me. And uh, it started in 2000 with us running six nationwide races and has progressed all the way to now um, what will be 12 or 13 years uh, together. And um, our our agreement with Aaron's, just like it's been the last couple of years, is for 30 races. And um, Ken, I just want to say thank you for that. Well, it's my, my pleasure. I, actually, the first time we did something together at the Shania Twain, I asked you if you'd ever done a commercial. 
And he said, yeah, I can do a commercial. And we were going to sponsor this bush race at Atlanta Motor Speedway, and we added 12 extra miles because customers can own their product. And I thought that was a big deal. NASCAR allowed us to do that, so I wanted a driver that would complain about the 12 miles. And uh, lo and behold, that first race, Mark Martin won it. And I went up to him and said, did that extra 12 miles bother you? And he just went, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping he'd give me a story with it, but he's nah, no big deal. So later on, a couple of years later, Michael lost the race because somebody added 12 extra miles. He ran out of gas. I was but, leading at mile 300 and 305, even got to 307, but... So we, 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 don't think, we don't talk about that too much now, but we, we've, we've always focused on performance at the track, and we've also focused on our marketing plan because we have to connect with the NASCAR community, and I think we've done a really good job with that. In our first campaign, we had Michael driving the Aaron's Dream Machine, and Brother Daryl wanted to drive it, and we wouldn't let him drive it, and we finally let him drive it. So that kind of came to an end. And then uh, Michael's career was winding down and starting a – race team and david rubin came through the ranks from dirt dirt track, track racing we knew him and uh we've been with david for four or five years through nationwide and all the way up to cup so uh I'm very appreciative for everything david has done created the old lucky dog to go with it but our contract's up next year so you know our thinking in our camp is what's next what's the next big deal and you don't want to ever run out of time that you're not a sponsor they could get somebody else and we're out so uh I kind of like like staying in front of it, and I went to Michael and said, "What what can we do next? What's what's the next big deal?" And we started thinking outside the box, and I said, well, "What about that Mark Martin guy? You know, I'm thinking driver development program right here. You know, <laughs> so uh, we went out and got him, and uh, he's on the team, and I'm I can't be more than happy. I got some ideas. I'm not sure how they're going to work out yet, but if you can just kind of look at these two cats driving the Aaron's Dream Machine, I think you probably can see two opposites." And I'm thinking we can have a lot of fun with that. So uh, we're looking forward to, to uh, putting, putting it all together and, more importantly, for you guys to perform on the track. So thank you, Mark. Thank you, thank Ken. You. Uh, we'll open up for questions. Yeah. Go ahead, Claire. <clears throat> Claire B. Langsiris, XM NASCAR Radio. Mark, 25 Sprint Cup events. What does that mean to you? I mean, that's uh, how much less than right now? Um, that's a pretty interesting question. Um, oddly enough, it is uh, the same schedule as I ran in 07 and 08, uh, with exception uh, of Michael running uh, the Bud Shootout. And uh, we both think that that's a, a, a great idea. First of all, in my opinion, he's the best restrictor plate racer in NASCAR today. Um, and, and second of all, we can go to Daytona doing what we're going to do all year, and that's sharing a car at the, you know, Daytona event. Um, so I'm going to be standing up cheering for him. Uh, and and um, it is the perfect schedule for me, um, and and it gives me an opportunity to, to catch my breath, uh, to, to spend a little bit more time with the fans, a little bit more time with the sponsors, and um, – and hopefully a good bit more time than I'm able to now with the team and organization. They're giving me an opportunity here to maybe um, hopefully have an effect on, you know, the direction of, of the, the program. And I'm really excited about that because that's, that could be a, tra a transition for me to continue to be involved in the sport the way I want to be. Uh, by using the experience that I have um, and, and, uh, and the things that I've learned over, you know, the years that I've been in NASCAR. Right here. Last two questions. Uh, goes to the gentleman of Ellens. I mean, Mark is leading a very successful team since you went NWR. Was it very difficult or took it a long time to convince him to join Michael Walker's racing? And the second question to Michael, you're still doing... Uh, um, first of all, this whole process, I think, is from the time it was mentioned till sitting here today, has been less than three weeks. We um, we didn't it didn't take a lot of time to convince Mark. We've got a lot of great things going on at Michael Waltrip Racing. He loves the commitment that Aaron's has made to the sport. So it was kind of a an opportunity for him to 
to step back a little bit, like he said, refresh his batteries and run a limited schedule. Um, my, my schedule is perfect. I get to run a few races, and um, I've gone to Europe and raced the Ferrari a few times, and I uh, expect that that won't change. The thing that Mark said I found interesting, he said to give him a chance to spend a little bit more time with the sponsors and the fans, and that's what I love about what I'm doing now. I can, I can go places um, when, the, when my drivers are in, in Dover. I might be in Idaho or Oklahoma somewhere doing appearances, or I might be overseas talking about Michael Waltrip racing um, to folks over there. So I'm really lucky.